Welcome back to the uh, Lonely Lighthouse, people. <laughs> Certainly has been lonely for uh, past two months. I think actually I just noticed something. <laughs> it's been two months since the uh, since the anniversary. It's the sixth right now. I'm assuming this is going to go up on the same day. I hope so. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. I've been gone for a uh, a while. Honestly, I was hoping to start making videos maybe a week after I got to school. But uh, health did not seem to uh, approve of that idea. <clears throat> if you'd if you uh, look in the comments of. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, the security booth video. Uh, yeah, I think it's on that one. Or was it on the happy anniversary day? I don't remember. Uh, basically, I was having some jaw problems a little while after I got back to school. And eventually... I wound up going to uh, my dentist, and uh, he was like, oh, well, you need to have your wisdom teeth removed. And so, like, the appointment for the oral surgeon was a couple of weeks down the line, so I went back to school, and my mouth was still all screwed up. Then it started to get better, but, of course, you get a sinus infection. So that was several more trips to go back to uh, home, which was fun. <clears throat> and I wasn't about to start making videos when I could <clears throat> hardly talk for like two minutes without having a coughing fit. And uh, then the oral surgeon appointment happened and uh, went down there and he was like, yeah, we're just gonna take all four of those out. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I thought I was only supposed to have two out. He's like, nah, it's better if we just rip them all out. And also, we're going to do all kinds of fun surgery on your mouth. That'll be fun. We're going to cut part of your jawbone out. Oh, God. But anyway. <laughs> um, today, I had the... Uh, the extractions done, all four of them, in the space of, uh, about 50 minutes, I think? Was it? No. It wasn't that long. My appointment started at 7.50, and I was out of there by 8.40. But I think I was out of the chair by, like, 8.30 or something. I don't remember. Yeah, they didn't start, uh, surgerizing until I think 8 o'clock but uh, I've recovered a little bit since then the uh, the sockets have finally closed up a little bit so I can uh, not bleed excessively all over the place <laughs> I've got some pictures of me in various places at the uh, at the oral surgeons at the pharmacists, and it's just me bleeding everywhere, because those sockets would not close up. But anyway, now they have, <coughs> and uh, so, assuming that I don't get a dry socket and have to hightail it back up to the old surgeons, I think by Monday I should be good to start making videos again. But I will have to see, because they did say that there's swelling that happens when you have your wisdom teeth removed. So if I puff up like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, you know, do the talky-talky for uh, videos. But we will see. It's a shame that all of this is happening in Spooktober, because that was... That was a good month last year, aside from all the spooks. <laughs> um, 
but I can say that the first video that I'm going to make when I uh, get back to school is going to be the new game from uh, Warline Studios. Oh. Uh, drawing from memory, I think it's called Phantom Six. I think. Uh, do, do, do. Let me see. I can't remember. Phantom 8, maybe. That might be what it is. Actually, I can just look at the comments. Hold up. Uh, Phantom 8 is what it's called. I'm an idiot. It's the 6th. You'll forgive me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that'll be the first. And then I think I'll try and find a bunch of... Uh, other itch.io games that are kind of spooky. Maybe I'll go back to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion too. Uh, Evan won't be there because he's super busy these days and doesn't hang out with me. But uh, there will be more videos, hopefully, <clears throat> in the near future. Very near future. But uh, also, um, in the background of this video, you may have noticed, it is not The Long Drive or Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's a weird game with mechs shooting at each other. This is a really old game called Mech Warrior 4 Mercenaries, which uh, you can get off of, I think it's called My Abandoned Ware, because <clears throat> it's old. Let me look it up. When is this game from Mech Warrior 4 Mercenaries? Oh my god! I'm only a few months older than that game. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, if, if anyone wants to see a series on that, I'd be more than happy to do that. I was going to do that uh, months ago, but then the game stopped working randomly, and I do not know why. Because yesterday I got home from the drive from college here, which is like a hundred something miles, <clears throat> and I was like, huh, I kind of want to play something. And I saw the shortcut for Mech Warrior 4 Mercenaries staring at me on my desktop. And I was like, you know what, let's give it a shot. And it just worked. It just works. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a fun game. So if anyone wants to see me play that, say so. Even if you don't say so, I'll probably play it, because I do like it. But, uh... <sighs> I had to wake up at 5 o'clock this morning. That was not fun. But, anyway, I think I'm gonna go, eh, gonna run off now and lay down or eat some ice cream. Something, because I'm not allowed to eat meats. <laughs> I can only eat soft foods. But anyway, <clears throat> Hope uh, everybody has a good rest of their day. There ain't a whole lot left of it, because it's like 119. But, uh, yeah. Take care, people, and uh, hope you have a good day. Bye! <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>
and that's it. Man, that's medium mech action for you. We have our winner today, Mert Turn Solaris Jock Spectre. He's making a name for himself, and he rode right over the competition today. Some pilots on the circuit complain that the jungle is a hard arena to get used to. Well, apparently there's one Merc who'll disagree. Live from the jungle, it's Duncan Fisher signing off. The factory is a buzz tonight. That's right, it is factory time. This is Duncan Fisher reporting live from downtown Montenegro. And the talk tonight is about Peter Dexter. He has come out of retirement and is anxious to get another chance at the Solaris Championship. His last night game was a brutal display of skill, and this old dog has learned some new tricks. There is a sold-out crowd here tonight. The game is on. Sometimes a kill sneaks up on you, like that one. Pinpoint firing can lead to a fast kill. Peter Dexter is down there tonight. Back in his prime, it would have been a no-brainer who was going to win this one. But he's been in retirement for five years, and it's been eight years since he did his career best and placed 37th in the charts. He's back and nailed three victories in a row in the light circuit. Now he's primed to show the medium pilots what an old veteran can do. He ain't getting any younger, but he has a ton of talent and experience. I fought Peter back in the day, and he is one pilot who cannot be ignored. I think we will be seeing a lot more of him this season. The medium matches are some of my favorites, and I'm not saying that just because it was the weight class I made a name for myself in. Medium mechs require all the piloting skills of light mechs, plus you have to have better gunnery skills. In light mechs, a lot of the game boils down to chance. You're moving so fast that only the good pilots can regularly nail their shots. Medium mechs are all about skill, and that is something I can appreciate. One more mech destroyed. The medium matches are picking up some steam from a slow start. It was a real upset when a few of the key medium players announced, now this is where it starts to get interesting. Three pilots are left. It all comes down to this. Down and dirty, and all bets are off. Ouch, and there goes Peter Dexter. A real shame, too. I thought he'd go the distance today. I really did. And from the audience reaction, I think they were expecting it, too. But there are plenty of games left in the season, and I'd be surprised if we don't see some more from the Gray Wolf. Looks like some of the mechs are ready to fall. Any moment now, things will pick up and we'll see some serious action. Spectre wins. Shut down imminent. Things are really picking up now. The season may have started slow, but now it's picking up steam. Today, we have a Merc rookie doing the victory lap. His name is Spectre, and this season he has really been turning some heads. He fought his way through the light class and seems to be holding his own in the mediums as well. Live from the factory, it's Duncan Fisher signing off. <gasps> Scandalous!